welcome to my channel. I hope you find this video super helpful and if you do, make sure you hit subscribe and give this video a like. And in today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to fix stuck valves. Because tenor horns have three valves, this method is going to work on any brass instrument that has three valves. So the tuba, euphonium, baritone, cornet, trumpet, anything like that, you're going to be able to use this method to unstick those valves. If you've got a French horn with stuck valves, then check out my French horn video for that. For this lesson, you'll need your tenor horn, some basic valve oil, a towel to protect your surfaces and catch all that valve oil, and you might need some pliers covered with electrical tape to make sure it doesn't scratch your instrument. Joke. So why have my valves stuck? Have I broken my instrument? Don't worry, valve sticking is quite a usual problem and it usually happens when instruments haven't been played for a while, so when you're on holiday or when you haven't been practicing. So in this video I'm going to give you a simple step-by-step -step guide to fix those valves from home. Firstly, you'll want to put a towel or cloth down to protect surfaces from the valve oil. Take your valves out one by one, so you don't get confused and put them back in the wrong order. When you unscrew the top cap, it should come off easily. If it doesn't, you can use some pliers, like these ones, but make sure you always cover the top in electrical tape. Then, gently pull out the valve with your hands. It shouldn't be too difficult to pull out. Now the valve is out, Cover it in valve oil. I use Alcas valve oil, which is a regular valve oil for all brass instruments. As your horn is an expensive piece of kit, you don't just want to put any valve oil on it. So I'd recommend Alcas as it's not too thick and is super affordable. Cover each valve in a coat of valve oil. Ease it back into the valve casing and then give it another coat of oil. If you've got a Besson Sovereign, like mine, then you'll see these little valve notches sticking out just under the cap, which will fit into the corresponding gap in each valve casing. It's important that you slide the valve in with this notch in the right gap. Otherwise, when you come to play, the air won't go through the instrument properly and you won't be able to make a sound. And finally, repeat the whole process again with the other two valves. So what to do if you've tried all these steps and it's not working? If the valve caps don't come off at the top, you can use pliers to gently try and rotate them. But remember, always cover those pliers with the electrical tape. If it's the bottom cap that's not coming off and you want to clean it, you can use this same method. If you've got your cap off the top but the valve isn't actually coming out of the casing, then you can pour some valve oil around the top and in the hole at the bottom, which should help to ease it out. If it's still not budging after this, then it sounds like we've got a different problem on our hand and you might need to give the repair person a call. So, thank you for watching this brass teacher video. I hope you found it super useful and you now have fully working valves. If you have a question about your valves, horn maintenance or anything else, make sure you pop a comment below. If you found this video super useful, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Whether you're a beginner or looking to improve your technique, make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date with all my videos. <laughs>